Lisa still in the same clothes from the last video. Um, actually, maybe not, because the other videos might be going up next. Um, I am filming a couple videos in a row, so if you see me in the exact same environment with the exact same clothing, please know that I am multiple filming, multiple video filming. Anyways, I am coming to you with an unboxing and I am so excited. I had so much self-control, you all would be so proud or confused. But I ordered a deck to work with in October and it arrived and I am very, very excited. I've already picked out a Peggy bag for it. I was not going to wait and open this on camera because I was like, no, I did that with the last deck and I want to open it right now. But then I opened the cardboard box. So it came in very, very carefully packaged. <laughs> I opened the cardboard box and it looked like it was packed all pretty. And I was like, no, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm gonna show it on YouTube. So let's do it together. You'll probably know what it is because I'll probably put the name of it in the description box. And you'll be like, oh, that's what she's unboxing. But yeah, anyway. So the, oh, it says it also right here. So this is the Earthly Souls and Spirits deck. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna dig in. It's in this pretty pink paper and it feels like I'm wrapping a present and I'm really excited. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying I'm really excited. But oh my god, you guys! You have to see this. Okay, I'm gonna hold this up. See if it doesn't go everywhere. Look at how nice this is! I gotta figure out where to hold stuff. There's like, look at this, there's like a little note and there's like, oh my god, okay, so I'm gonna start pulling things out. So this is the most adorable three-dimensional sticker I've ever seen in my life. I feel like that is so cute. It's like felt. Oh my God, that might have to go like on my laptop. I wonder if it'll hurt anything. It, it's, it's, I wonder if it's too puffy to, I should stop poking my laptop on camera. I wonder if it's too puffy to like stick on the like keyboard, like wrist rest. It might get annoying there. We'll see. I might, I might need to put that. That's really cute. Um, and she's sent a lovely little note that's on this little like potted plant notepad or note paper. So cute. She's included a, a tea, English tea shop, white tea, blueberry and elderflower. How nice is that? What? I'm going to have a cup of tea in a little bit. And, and really, this is, this is what we're, we're here for, right? She included M&Ms. I feel like I'm trick or treating right now. What? I should probably tell you who this is. And I forget her name, but it will be in here. It will be in here. There's also the cutest... I feel like I'm opening like a like a special box. So cool. Look at this little Halloween... Pen. It's like a little cute... I want to open it right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, like a, it's got like little... What does it have on there? Little pumpkins and it says boo. I need my glasses. Okay. That's really super cute. And there's even like a little Tootsie Roll Pop. <laughs> okay, I am being completely silly right now, but this is super exciting. And then, oh my God, there's even more. So I've got, the deck came in like a linen bag, it looks like. Um, I did already pick out a Peggy bag, so I'll be probably swapping that out. But that's a very nice bag. I will definitely find something lovely to put in here. Maybe some herbs or something. There's more though. So before I get into that, that's right, this is her name, Terry Foss. Terry Foss. She's included this lovely art card. This is really pretty. You guys, I cannot wait to start digging into this deck. You have no idea. Okay, so that's in there. Oh my god, there's even some really cute, like, Halloween napkins. So I've got a Happy Halloween, a Pick Your Poison. How cute are these? And then some skulls. And there was like some sage or some, there's some botanicals in here, some little leafy things. You can see some of the bits kind of in the box there. So this feels very, well, you can kind of see. Yeah, there you go. There's some little leaves in there. They're kind of all collected at the bottom, but there you go. That felt really special. Like she clearly took some time to put that together in a nice, a very nice way. That was very nice. And this little postcard is, or print is just really nice. And she signed the back of it. Very exciting. Okay. I'm already like five minutes in and I haven't even shown the cards yet. Oh my god. Look at this. They're even like, there's more. Like there's a tie and... Oh my god, I can't. I might have to though, I might have to round these corners because they are um, pointy and I'm not used to that. So, 
first of all, there's this really pretty, like, I don't even... Okay, so this is like, got this, like, foil. I don't know if you can see that in the light. You probably can. A little bit. So, it's like a crystal with a moon. Look at that. Are you kidding? That is so pretty. So, that's in there. And then, it comes with this really lovely um, pamphlet that talks about... I'm just going to read the little intro here because it's very beautifully put together. And this is a nice thick paper, so I think it will hold up well in the bag with the deck. Um, do, you ever, do you often hear a little voice telling you a secret in the back of your mind or feel the presence of something or someone in your vicinity, something you cannot quite explain? Do you ever experience a strong feeling or premonition? If so, this is your innate intuition speaking to you. I believe in acknowledging your thoughts and listening to your most inner self. You already have all the answers to your own questions regarding your own being. Um, and then she goes into the story behind the deck. Um, she talks about the faces of the moon. There's a three card spread and a Celtic cross looking spread that she's got here. And then on the back, and why can't I figure out how to hold things up here? Let's see. Oh my God, I'm the worst, you guys. I'm sorry. It's backwards for me. There we go. You have each card on... I'm really challenged. Each card down this side and then alongside it you have what it means. So some keywords and a little message. So it's really quite easy to scan and see what the cards mean. So that's very exciting. I really want to put these art cards somewhere where I won't get them mixed up with the card cards. Okay. And then untie the little ribbon. So these feel, every single one of these feels postcard size. They feel pretty sturdy like the cardstock they're slippery um, but the cardstock is like thick it is glossy that's the title card you're probably gonna see some reflection from my computer um, and then on the back here it says earthly souls and spirits Oracle our collection of 59 intuitive Oracle cards and guide were designed by my daughter Sarah and I we both have a deep love for the moon and nature my goddess witch fairy themed pa paintings paired with an inspirational word are featured on one side of our card collection meant to offer light and positive energy into your life. The re reverse side is, a, is graced with moon phases photographed and designed by Sarah. Brightest blessings, Terry and Sarah. Very nice. So that's the title image. The backings are all the same. There's been different editions of these cards. So I, apparently one version came out where there was a different phase on the back of like each card throughout but now it's just one image showing all the faces of the moon and that is really really beautiful <sighs> I'm so excited to work with this I don't know when I'm gonna pull it into rotation but definitely this month these are really oh, okay I need to show them and not just stare at them these are really really beautiful so positivity Let's see if I can figure out there we go positivity wisdom these are definitely a set, as I've been talking about with oracles, I really enjoy having, I really enjoy having cards where the keywords are expansive um, enough to just use intuitively, create. And I'm probably going to just flip through all of these, but I'll try to start going quick, more quickly. Balance. Divinity. These are so beautiful. Like you could frame each one of these and like put them all over your house. They are all art print quality, stunning. And the art is, maybe I won't round the corners. What do I want to do? These are, and they're a nice big size. Like just for reference, I've got some tarot cards nearby. Let me pull a standard one. Um, so here is these. And here is my Game of Thrones tarot. Like these are huge. Like these are probably, I want to say these are like four by six or three by five. Like they're, they're like full postcard size. Family. Look at that with those little kitties. Oh my God. These are so beautiful. Nature. Oh my God. It's like she's literally full on ritual right there. Serenity. beautiful harmony these are so beautifully witchy but they don't feel overly dark 
they feel mysterious earth they feel mysterious they feel um, really vivid with the colors compassion mm. fairy tale look at the dreamlike quality of this one oh i mean a lot of them oh this is that look at that this is a full size what does this one say joyous the text isn't as easy to read on camera but i like that it's really understated because the art is front and center this is the same as that little really cool holographic -y coated little mini that i got how beautiful is that success i was a little bit torn about whether i wanted to get this full earthly souls and spirits or she's got another one that was um what's it called I forget there's another one that's got less cards but I noticed that the art it overlaps but with different keywords and I wanted to pick the one that was more that had more cards in them devoted this is so the colors are so beautiful I spiritual these are definitely gratitude oh. I keep cutting myself off. That's how bad I am at interrupting. I interrupt myself. What was this one? Adventure. And she's like, it's like she's going into the, like the wardrobe in Narnia. Like that's what that reminds me of. Celestial. She looks like she's made of moonlight. Check her out. Oh, relax. You might've seen these before. What does that one say? Prosperity. I can't read it in the camera image because the writing is too tiny for my eyes. Peace. Blessed. These are definitely, these are going to look so cute against other decks. I'm probably going to pair this. What was this one? Nurture with the home. Yeah. I might pair this with Everyday Witch just because of all the pointy hats and stuff. I think that it could go really, really well with that one. What does that say? Inspire. I don't know if I have any other really witchy decks. I thought I heard my little puppy, but which one's this? Confidence? I might be hearing the fish tank beside me. Magical. Holy cow. Just the idea that somebody can actually paint like this. This is the kind of stuff that blows my mind. I, that's something I wish I, I guess in my 25 wacky questions, it wasn't something you can't do but wish you could. It was what you hated. But I can't, I don't paint very well. Um, I love paint nights where there's step-by-step -step instructions. I can do that. This was authentic, by the way. Just babbling. The paintings you see in the background were painted by us. Um, the wisteria on that side was a YouTube paint-along that Peggy and I did here at home. And that was mine, the one that I painted. This is called Centered. And the, this is really pretty and focused with that bow. Um, and then the birch trees, that side, <laughs> the birch trees you see over there, um, that was a paint night that Peggy and I did together and that was Peggy's painting. This one is mystical. I do really enjoy doing paint night style paintings, which I just said, but if there's step-by-step -step instructions, I'm good. <laughs> if I have to just sit in front of a blank page and come up with something, Mm -mm, not when it's um, very right-brained like this. Blissful. I should keep naming the cards. Um, I love to color in adult coloring books. Spontaneous. But yeah, doodling, painting from scratch, not my thing. Imagine. I know, less talky, more showy. Manifest. beautiful these keywords i do think that i could work with this similarly to the way that i work with oracle of echoes like in a very just adding layers to tarot meanings this is soulful soulful white light Ooh, this is like lighting a candle sending the energy out using your crystals amplifying energy wish I love how these are all like very lunar nighttime breathe 
radiant. All the phases of the moon, the gibbous, the crescents, the full. Purposeful. Mm. Abundance. Hope. Evolve. This is such a generous deck. There's so much sharing in this. It's beautiful. Love. This looks like somebody walking out on a winter's day and having just like blown out or like held up like a, a bundle of, of flower petals and then let the wind carry them away to their destination. Like it just looks like magic. Focus. Ooh, she looks like she's scrying. Tranquility. Oh, those moon faces just the best. Luminous. Angelic. Mindful. I'll pull a card at the end too, just so we can look up what one of the meanings sounds like. Blossom. Enchanted. Clarity. Light. Oh, my dogs are boofing. <laughs> Rejoice. Nice. Meditate. And goddess. That's an interesting image for goddess. It's like two little girls almost like having this moment and they're looking back at you like, what are they doing? It's an interesting one. So let me see how, how I'm going to shuffle these. They're quite, they're quite big. Um, let's see how they, they probably are going to overhand. Yeah, they're going to overhand. They're just a little bit unwieldy. Whoop! As proven by the fact that I just dropped some. Let's just see if I can grab those. Pardon my face. Pardon my face. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can rifle shuffle these. I like to try to rifle shuffle everything. Um, I'm going to just turn them long ways like that. A little stiff. A little stiff for rifling. Um, I think, yeah, my hands are maybe, I can kind of sideways. I prefer to like, if I'm going to hand over hand, I prefer to do it sideways, but that's quite a stretch and I've got pretty big hands. So I think you're kind of stuck like, like I don't want to trim them because I don't want to lose any of the art. They do fine like this direction. I'm just not as used to it. So they feel like they're going to fall, which a couple just did a minute ago. So um let's see i wonder if i can no i can't rifle really shuffle maybe i can do the corners try the corners see if i can get a little bit of bend nope it just went everywhere that's the only thing is i wish they were just a little bit easier to handle yeah let's see if i can <laughs> this is not going well maybe with something like this i would just fan them or cut them or draw a chunk out of the center. I mean, I always draw a chunk out of the center, but okay. Let's see. I just threw a card again. You probably just got a really close up look of the top of my head. That's okay. All right. Draw one card and then call this done. All right. Card that's now on top is put these down. Evolve. That's a pretty one with the butterfly wings. So let me see what the book says, and then I'll put the card back up or the pamphlet says. These are in alphabetical order on the side here. Let's see if I can hold this up so you can see this while I read it. There we go. That works. Okay. Growth, improve, transform reintroduce yourself to you surround yourself in positivity and continue to grow your colors reintroduce yourself to you i really like that message so beautiful i have a feeling that these will look absolutely lovely on my little tarot altar and let's just see how they fit in the peggy bag that i picked out 
So I picked out one of these bags to put this one in. I just thought that would look really good together. This sort of like black, I don't know if that shows up properly on camera, it's like a black gray sort of swirl. Here we go, now it's showing up. Okay, I have, I have to reshuffle them though now that I've drawn a card, okay. I think I'll get used to hand over hand shuffling and if I don't I would probably just fan them out for myself kind of like that and then just like pick one or do it like sideways like that on a table and then draw one that might be kind of nice I usually draw them actually on the bed so I'd probably just spread them out on the bed and pick one and perfect fit let me just toss my little pamphlet in there um, I think I will put the title card in there because I may trim the corners so that they're not pokey and see what I think of that. Although I do kind of like that they look like just like framed pieces of art. And that was so sweet. There's even like this like twisty yarn that tied it up. That was such a thoughtfully packed um, pre like present. I said present, but I mean I bought it, but like thoughtfully packed deck to get in the mail and I'm very excited so I will definitely be working with this on a week in October so you'll get to hear after I've worked with it solid for a week you'll get to hear my thoughts on it in my weekly deck review but I don't know which week that will be yet so stay tuned for my Sunday decks I worked with this week video to find out when I work with this and I will review it for you at the end of that week so with that said I hope you have a really lovely day or afternoon or evening or morning wherever you might be and I will talk to you all again very very soon